where do I start? 3-0 defeat. Um, started the game really well. Controlled the game. I thought first 30 minutes we were in total control. Didn't let Leicester have anything. The minute that they had their first sight of goal, I thought the confidence built uh, and started to grow quite significantly. Did well to keep them at 0-0 to the first half. And then the second half was just... It's just what I think a lot of Albion fans expected um, our season to end up like, really. Um, plenty of mistakes. Sawyer's a, a few little schoolboy errors. Bartley with a few errors as well with the penalty. Too many soft fouls, frustration creeping in. I'm not going to be unrealistic and say we're down at this point. I still think, that, as I say, there is still 37 games to go. There is still a lot of work to do. But I am worried. So there we have it, Leicester City 3, West Brom 0, um, bit of a disappointing performance but what can you do, you know, it was always going to be tough, um, it was always going to be a tough start to the season I think, especially given that we, we, we haven't improved the squad on the one that finished last season. I, I don't see the investment coming anytime soon from Lai, I don't see, I didn't think ever when we went 1-0 down I could never see us getting a goal back in the game, I could never see us scoring. We we didn't create much. Carnu had a half chance with like six minutes to play. I just didn't think that there was anything in there for us really. Um, I'm not look first game of the season as 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 I keep saying and as I keep it's a marathon not a sprint yeah but I do feel unless something drastic changes within the next thirty or however games days rather are left of the uh, transfer window. This could be a very long season. Um, um, you know, Cedric Kipre wasn't in the squad today. Um, and reading between the lines of Slavin Bilic's interview with the club earlier this week, I'm not sure that was ever a priority signing for him. Um, it'd be good to see Kravinovic come back. I really hope we can get Conor Gallagher on loan. I think they're the type of players that would have benefited us today. Um, you know, that first 20 25 minutes we started quite brightly, but we never really got a foothold in the game. And uh, I think Leicester's quality and, and experience at this level paid off um, you know the penalties were really really sloppy really really poor goals to concede and, and it, it just it feels like we have a lot to learn at this level still um, I'm hoping that the addition of Branislav Ivanovic will be will be you know, a massive positive for us I think he brings something that we haven't got certainly with Gareth Barry and Chris Brown both moving on in the summer I, I don't I Defensively, I thought we were we were all right first half. Second half, I think we we lacked. Midfield wise, again, um, ran them out first half. Second half, as soon as they get that goal and we make the one mistake, it just falls. And strike force, I didn't even really think we got a striker on the field. Callum Robinson worked more as a winger. Carnu came on, didn't do anything for me. We need a striker. Let's 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 be realistic here. If we don't sign a striker, we're done for. We. We need a striker. We need probably another midfielder. Krov, we desperately need a, a midfielder like him. I think Grant, I mean, there's a few rumours about Carl and Grant. There's a few rumours about Troy Deeney. We just needed a goal scorer at this stage. I mean, anything that will bring us into that match. That aside, we we know what we've got to do. We know we've got to sign players. The, diff, the task isn't isn't difficult in terms of who we need to get in through the transfer window. It's the getting the right player in. Um, still work to do. Frustrating playing a side like Leicester on the opening day, like Fulham yesterday with Arsenal. They're not going to take any prisoners. It's a tough start, but we're going to have to learn from it and we're going to have to learn quickly. Again, I'm going to be realistic here. It's going to be a long season if we don't make any transfers, but still got faith in Slav, but we do need to make something uh, quite quickly because this could turn into quite an embarrassment for us. Frustrating start, but we go again on Wednesday night in the Carabao Cup, and that's a game we nearly, really do need to win for confidence now more than anything else. Um, we desperately need a striker. That much is obvious. I don't think Callum Robinson is the answer through the middle. Um, so Carl and Grant will be a welcome addition by my book. Hopefully that's one that we can get sealed soon. And yeah, um, not, not not a great deal of talking points on our behalf. Other than it needs to be better. Um, we've got two tough games coming up against Everton and Chelsea, but we'll see what happens. Um, we need to get the bodies in. I think we need to revert to a formation that's a little bit more familiar to us, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll kick on then and and have a better performance. So fingers crossed for that. And uh, yeah, no matter what, let's all just enjoy the season. Come on, you baggies.